Hi guys, it's Master Coach Don Morgan and today's video is on the Biazza Riva HE Compact. So today we've been called out on this boiler because other people have been working on it before us. So we've arrived, the customers told us that's been leaks on the boiler, gone on the PCB, etc. So we're going to investigate and find out what the problem is. So the first thing I've observed, you can see there's no pressure in the boiler. So we're going to get inside it. You've probably seen me on these bars before. The screws on the top, remove them, and then this front panel just slides off. And then we can get inside it. So the assistant miles is going to remove the front cover. I'm just having a look at the bar a bit closer, and I can see here that the auto air vent has been leaking. So that definitely, once replaced, you can see the corrosion. So that's the first thing we're going to need to change. And then, what we'll do, we'll um, repressurize the expansion vessel, standard operation and procedure, and then we'll fill up the boiler, and then see what happens from there. We've fitted our pump, it's going up there, on the, on the shader valve, on the expansion vessel. Now we're going to isolate the boiler because it's in the kitchen. So we're going to turn off the flow and return. Just a quart turn operation. And then we're going to, is that closed? Yep. Let's check that, it's not fully closed that. Maybe just do the opposite, turn it the opposite way. That's it. So you can get it right across the pipe, that's it. And your phone's the same, just double check that. That's it, that's better. Now the drain pipe on this particular boiler is right beneath the bottom. It's there, that's it there. So I'm gonna need a bowl or a bucket underneath to open up, let any water out the boiler. To gain access into the uh, drain pipe, we're going to remove the screws at the bottom and then slide the front panel towards us because it's kind of um, compact. Right, I'm just going to get on this drain pipe now. So basically, I'm going to twist. If you go back, you don't want water going all over your camera. <laughs> So, but there's nothing in the boiler, but that's the drain point on what you do. So now we're using the foot pump. It's just charging the water out now, as you can see. Just stop for a minute, just stop. So this is the reason why you use your foot pump, to push out any trapped water in the boiler. So you've seen initially when I undone the drain point, no water didn't come out. It seemed like there's nothing there. But now we pump air into the expansion vessel, you've seen all that water get displaced because it was trapped or airlocked inside. So we are now finished. That's the more or less the water discharge from the expansion vessel and it's now stopped. Now we can start putting true air into the expansion vessel. Now you can see, we've just gone over one there, that's perfect, and then we'll remove the pump off the shredder valve, and that should be all the order. It didn't make it, let me try it again. Yeah, you can see, it's now starting to move. Collapsed WD-40, did do its magic. Now you get the grips on that now. See if you can, you know, it's still a bit tight. No, we need that better leverage with a screwdriver. I think we that button to leave it. I've tried that now. No. It's 
still trying. I'll spray a bit more on it and try it again. So we we'll put this spanner in there to try and give it a bit more leverage. Let's try it. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, it's going more. That's it. That's it. It's nearly out now. I might like get the rest of the grips. some bigger grips. So this has been leaking for a long time to cause this corrosion. There you go. I'm going to get the grips on it now and um, just twist it out. clean out and then basically put the new one in. Just get rid of all that poo poo out of the way. As I said, I find it remarkable how an engineer could look at this boiler and not notice this. And he's doing in here twice two separate engineers and didn't do this. So just putting some silicon on the o-ring all the way around. And that should just bob in. Yeah. So it's going to go um, like that because the, um, the pin when pushing is going to go across these two sides. So it's done there. I'll get my new clip. Put a bit of silicon on that as well. And then insert that in. That's it. So that's it. Make sure that's open because you want to obviously let the air out, the air vent. And then we can fill up and then we'll basically see what else is going on. We're just opening the isolation valves now. That's it. As I said, we're going to fill up. What I did, having turned the boiler on, well, I thought it was on, but there's no power light on, so I took the fuse out, the fuse spur, I'm just going to check the fuse for continuity. So now I'm going to just check this now. So that looked, yeah, the fuse is okay. You can see the switch is on, but there's no power light on here. So I'll have to look inside here, look in the board, check the fuses, see if they've gone. That one's okay. So that's okay. 
The next check I'm going to do is check the voltage. So I've got an AC and let's see what's coming in into the boiler. So I'm turning on. I'm going to check live and neutral. So we're not getting nothing live and neutral there. Do live and earth. Nothing there. Very really strange. I'm just checking my bolt stick here, there's nothing here. Actually you can see the cables. No, there's nothing being picked up here, so there's no voltage, that's why there's no power, no supply. So I have to go to the consumer unit and see what's going on. Right, the situation is we found the power supply, put the circuit breaker on, that switched off, but now it's tripped all the electric off. So we're in darkness. So it's getting really full in games on this boiler. Right, what I've done now, I've turned off the circuit breaker because it's tripping the electrics back on. So I'm going to, go on to disconnect the live feed coming into the board. So it's not connected to the boiler now. As you can see, that's live feed disconnected. So I'm going to try putting on the circuit breaker again and see what happens. You can see this is the one that's down on the boiler. And here we go. It might pop. It popped. Wow. So, that's really weird. So I took the fuse out, there's no fuse in here whatsoever. I've disconnected here. I'm going to try that fuse again. So I'm going to try it again. Here we go. Nope. So, conclusion is that there's something wrong with this wiring. They've had building work done and the customer said it happened kind of when this work started, so it's related yeah, to that. Yeah, you said it just popped. Yeah, it just popped and you can see that's disconnected, no fuse in there, no connection here to the boiler whatsoever and it's still blowing the fuses. Okay, so what we've now done, we've now wired the boiler directly to a fuse, to a plug, sorry. And there's the plug on that extension. There's a lead going in, the boiler's working and it's fired up. Hopefully you can see the flame in there. So we now got lift off. And the problem is, on the other side, as I said, there's something wrong with the cabling there. Dead short circuit, damaged cable. So that's now disconnected and it's now connected on this new lead. So we're just going to put the boiler back together. And at least we've got the heat in the hot water on for the customer and they're over the moon. So Mrs. Customer, what do you think about what we've done? Uh, my heroes. My heroes, carry up. <laughs> hey, we did it, we did it. We got the boiler working. So that's brilliant. So that's going to be it on this video. So if you want to basically join what we're doing. Oh, oh and the dog just fell over. If you want to join what we're doing, just click on the link below. Like I said, you can join our training. You can also look at our webinars, what we're doing, because we've got one coming up now, which is called Investing Yourself the Right Way. So click on that link and you can see that webinar. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.